Hey everyone, it's Ellie. Hey, it's Danny. And uh, today we're here to really walk you through a trigger that we both uh, work through. Um, this is what we do as a career. We help you really understand how to break down what's actually going on and what's running through you as you get triggered. So welcome to Shoegate, okay? That's what we're calling it, uh, this particular video. Uh, I'm Korean, and so in Korean culture, we do not wear shoes in the house, period. I have never worn shoes in my house. I've never worn shoes in any Korean home I've ever been to. But Danny obviously isn't Korean, as you can tell, and he grew up very differently than me. So when I see him wearing shoes in the house, I get super annoyed and I get super frustrated. And I've asked him many, many times, like, please don't wear shoes in the house. And for me, I grew up in the UK and children have to take their shoes off. When you become an adult, you've matured more, you have discernment and you decide whether or not you should take your shoes off. If they're muddy, you're going to take them off. If they're not, you'll leave them on. And um, so when she's telling me to take her sh my shoes off constantly, first off, I'm not thinking about it because I've never, I've not had to for since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So I walk in, I'm not thinking. It's not like we have carpet. So I'm, I just walk right in. But then when she nags at me, it makes me feel like a kid. It makes me feel like I've done, I'm have done, i doing something wrong. So when I'm being nagged at, it makes me feel frustrated. And it makes me feel frustrated because she's saying one thing, but she's doing another. So she's saying she wants a clean floor, so don't wear the shoes inside. But the dog comes in and out, so that's a hypocrisy. And then she walks barefoot outside and comes inside. <laughs> so that's a hypocrisy. And then she claims she wants a clean floor, but I've never seen her actually clean the floor once and we've lived here over a month. Okay, hold on. I broom and brush, all, but I don't actually like clean the floors. Yeah. So it's like you're saying one thing and you're doing another. And this directly links to the wound I had with my mother where mm. she's saying I love you, but then she leaves. So it's like, well, you're saying one thing and you're doing another. And so when you say she leaves, like she left you when you were six years yeah. old. Yeah. yeah. So there's this big wound that I have of like someone saying one thing, but doing another. Mm. And it brings up frustration, which underneath, I know there's layers of anger and hatred that I haven't yet accessed. That's coming out through this beautiful trigger of wearing the shoes inside. Mm -hmm. So in a state of frustration, I say... Let's talk about this because it's bothering me. Mm -hmm. And I want to know why you don't want me to wear shoes inside. Mm -hmm. And as you're saying this to me, energetically, what I feel from him is like, he's annoyed at me. He's uh, frustrated at me. And you were coming off a little mean. Okay? Yeah, I was being demeaning. A little mean. mean okay. Yeah. And for me, as soon as I feel that energy, like as a little kid, that's how my mom was a lot, like really frustrated at me, really annoyed at me, mean. And so I start getting super defensive and I start like wanting to, sh I could feel myself starting to shut down. But in order for me not to shut down, all I get is like, I start getting heated. So I'm like, you know, I'm like coming at him with this, this hotness. And he keeps asking me like, what are you actually feeling? Because I know it's not about the shoes in the house. And I'm like, because I'm so defensive, I'm not even feeling what he's asking me. And so I just start going like, because I grew up in a Korean house and like, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, no, 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 you need to go deeper. But because I don't feel safe in the energy that he's coming at me from, I can't open. I close immediately. Does that make sense? And then the other big part is what you were describing is I'm coming to coming at her like saying let's talk about this mm -hmm. and let's find the deeper reason why i was like why do you think this way why do you feel this way and all i was being met with is just complete resistance yeah resistance to look deeper and this is another program from that i get from my mother of she didn't want to look ever deeper at the pain and that frustrates me because it felt like my pain wasn't being acknowledged. Mm -hmm. So now when I'm bringing this up to her, there's this all this resistance to going into what's really there and that's frustrating me even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I could tell she was completely shut down, resistant to go any further in. And so I said, you know, what do you need right now? Do you want some time alone? Yeah. And uh, I said, yes. And he was like, okay, great. And so he gave me my space to go into what was coming up for me. And I had to go into what was coming up for me. And I realized I was really showing up in like sarcastic, demeaning ways, which I totally see where I got that from. I believe that's from uh, my sister when I was a kid. 
And then all of the frustration that was being brought up, which is to do with my mother and seeing where that came from and how I absorbed that. Yeah. Now, this isn't to project blame onto them, but it's to honestly look at the truth of where did this come from? Where did it originate? And bringing awareness to that and figuring out where that lies within myself allows me to start to heal it. So moving forward, I'm going to make sure whenever I feel that frustration, I'm going away and I'm loving myself first mm -hmm. to come to a place of openness and neutrality so that when we can engage in these conversations, when I'm asking you, let's go deeper, mm -hmm. instead of projecting my frustration onto mm -hmm. you and getting mean and nasty, I'm able to come from this place of openness and clear communication. Yeah. And for me, having you walk away allows me to like really go into what's coming up for me, right? And when I was going into this, this is like the theme that the universe has has been presenting me recently is like never being heard of or cared about what, what I've always voiced my parents. Like it was always like, I didn't want to do so many things. And like every time I voiced that I would get shut down. But in that particular wound, like the first thing that came up for me when I went in and I dropped into my heart was my 13 year old self. And like my parents and I went through a really difficult time when I was a teenager where literally everything was like, shut down. I'm not listening to you. I don't care about what you say. Everything you say is going to be a no. And it doesn't matter what you think or what, what you want to do or anything. And so she was showing up in that moment. And I felt a lot of pain because during that time, like you're a teenager, you know, like you're trying to like fit into the world and like trying to survive. And I felt like every single time, like I voiced something like, Hey dad, can I go out? Hey, can I do this? Like, it was always like, no, 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 yeah. no. My house it's my house, my rules. Like uh, it's my way or the highway. So it was like, I constantly just felt like I was never heard or nothing that I felt matter to them yeah and so that's who needs love and so you know i dropped in and connected i was like i hear you girl and she was angry yeah i could really feel that uh, from you i could really feel i felt a lot of hatred yeah. it was and it, it felt to me like this is something that i had to do because my parents were rigid with me in this way yeah. and therefore this is something that you had to do right and it didn't feel like you're bringing me this thing of like oh I don't need to wear the shoes in the house. It's like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. But what is the energy that's driving that decision? Right. Like, is it coming from this place of, I would like you to not wear the shoes because I really want to work on keeping the floor clean? Yeah. Or is it come from the energy of, I don't want you to wear the shoes in the house right. because that's what I had to do when I was young. Right. And underneath there is a lot of pain that I don't want to look at. So just don't wear the shoes. Yes. So it's never about the shoes. If you feel energy that's activated, any emotions, if your mind's going nuts, whatever it is, that's a clue to you that this is a gift being presented to you because that's it in your shadows mm -hmm. that needs your love and attention. That's an inner child showing up asking for you. And every time you project and you blame on your partner, you're not taking responsibility over you. Yeah, just have that moment. And the that moment to just check in. Like this is a process. It's not something that you just arrive at and you're at the finish line. No, if you're working with your partner to to really work on yourself and, and shine that mirror, just f try and build as much self-awareness to recognize how you feel in the moment as you're communicating with them. Because often the unconscious programs that are running they're unconscious. Yeah. We don't realize how we're showing up. Mm -hmm. And it's only till after like, fuck, I wasn't very loving there. Mm -hmm. Like I could have been more in my heart space. So just building in the practice of really tuning into what energy am I coming with while we're having this conflict. Yeah. So it doesn't lead to an argument. Yeah. And getting curious about all the little things like shoes in the house, doing mm -hmm. the dishes, laundry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like the beautiful part about this work that we do is like, as soon as he goes off and, and goes loves himself and figures out what's actually going on and, and when I go do that, we come together in this like beautiful, powerful way that only creates deeper connection and intimacy between us because there's no fighting and blaming and projecting and being mad for days. It's like, no, we take divine responsibility over ourselves and then we can come back and share what we learned. Because on the surface, it looks like this shoe is the reason, right. but underneath, there's an inner child showing up for me mm -hmm. that's frustrated and in mm -hmm. pain. 
and there's an inner child that's showing up for Ellie. Mm -hmm. And when we're able to connect to that child mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. and show that to our partner, it allows for this beautiful exchange between the two of you to see each other in all of their pain yeah. and all in all of their vulnerability yeah. and to connect to them in on a deeper level than just the surface of the shoes or whatever it is. Yeah. This exact process that we've outlined in this video is the same thing that we coach people through mm -hmm. and teach individually and we both coach relationships. Yep. So, so set up a free consultation with us. It's in the link in the bio. You can set up a free consultation with Danny or with me. Um, and uh, thanks so much for being here with us. Subscribe, rate, review. We're going to be doing a lot of these videos and we really hope it helped you out. Thanks for being my partner. Thanks for being mine. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.